do do it. Do what? You do the welcome back. I don't do it exactly like that every time, but I do welcome. I say welcome back. Do you want me to change it up and say something different next time? Maybe. Keep us on our toes. Keep us on our toes. Uh, this is Laisha, one half of this podcast. This is Lexi, the other half of the podcast. And this is Sisters Reading Romance. And this is week three. No, it's week four. Oh, yeah, it is week four. Because it's five weeks in January and we figured that it out. It is. Yeah, it is week four of best of 2022 Mm -hmm. this is your choice this is my choice do you like to intro the book it is god of wrath by rena kent yep uh it is a dark romance it is not a new adult (laughs) not a new adult (laughs) you should just discovered last episode what Uh, new adult actually meant it is book three in her Legacy of Gods. Yes. Legacy of Gods series. Which are standalones because they are technically Have you read the other two? I read the other two. Okay. So I haven't. I read this book specifically. But I was very worried when I picked this book that you would have absolutely no fucking understanding of this. this it does what's say. Going on. Not, only not, going, not only going on in the, the this series in general, but like, because this is her like. This is like the this is third her like or fourth. Compu- compilation series. This is like all her other series everyone's kids are in this series ish yeah because yeah. basically um yeah it, it is it does say standalone though like yeah it does say, it does say standalone but i was a little worried because i, I when wasn't I was reading it i was like wow they do give a lot of like in particular when you jump to her dad's point of view in that one chapter her, her dad and then his, his dad's, dad's point of view i was like is she going to understand what's going on and why they're jumping to their perspective? I do have to admit that wasn't my favorite thing. Like I was kind of just was, like, it's definitely for fans thing. It's like it, it, because this series in general is, is for the fans. It's for the, everyone who's read all her books. Right. Because for me, I was just kind of like, why are we in the dad's point of view? Like I, I didn't, I didn't like hate it, but I, I was love, just kind of confused as to why, like I felt it was a little Xander's unnecessary. Point of view in this. Cause I actually, loved it more than his book in general <laughs> is he's, his oh yeah his is one book he's one book with whereas Kim. adrian and what's the mom's name it starts with an l leah yeah have like a, a trilogy it's a trilogy i actually quite enjoyed her, his trilogy yeah i haven't so this is the first rena kent book i've i've read which is funny because we've talked about dark romance and rena kent comes up all the time in dark romance mm-hmm. um because the other uh penelope what's penelope douglas, douglas is the other dark romance one that comes up sometimes but um like a i wasn't lost at all like i th- was worried i would be but i wasn't lost i was there, worried you'd be too it does like it sticks pretty closely to the two characters it follows yeah and doesn't deviate to like side plots because sometimes when you're when you're in a book that's in a series it deviates to like some sort of slide plot that's only relevant if you've read the series and this book doesn't do that because i'm pretty sure so well the thing is i i think if you read the second book in the series it might be a little bit more confusing but this book like because book one is happens before this book two happens concurrently with this so book so based on where this starts because this starts at the what the fuck is it called? I'm looking for the word. The, the selection initi- day or whatever. The selection, the initiation, initiation or whatever. Initiation, that's what they call of it. Of their little gang club thing, which I still think is one of the stupidest things ever. But yeah. that is that is also happens in the first book. Oh. Because she... Uh, what's... Glyden? Gl- Glyn- Glyndon? Glyndon? I don't know how to pronounce Glenn? it. Glenn? Glenn? Yeah, but basically Glenn. Her Cece's technical cousin. Well, they they look at each other as cousins. Yeah, because they all their They're... all their parents are friends. Um, like she goes to the initiation as well, but oh. they don't they don't go together. Like obviously Cece goes by herself, but wait, she goes the same night. The same night. Oh, okay. She, I didn't pick that up. She doesn't so, go in. So she steals someone else's. I think it's. Cree's like invite Craig's yeah because it's Craigton Craig Craig. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names well it's Craig short but very different so CC gets Craig's no 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 CC so 
Landon gets someone else's. Craig's. But. And gives it to Cece. But Glenn. I don't Glenn know. gets also, I think, Craig's oh. thing. Because she knew he got invited. And so she just like took it. She didn't oh. tell anyone she was going either. I didn't. But basically the the book one and book two and book, or book three, three all kind of happen all concurrently. They all happen at, at the same time. Okay. Because that, I did understand that book one and, or book two because and three. I didn't realize that. But book one must take place, must take place at a shorter time than this book. Because this book, Killian yeah, it, and Glenn are together. It ends about halfway through. They're already kind of together. Yeah, so they get together, like, very, very quickly. Like, basically, that fight they went to when... The fight night where the they fight got night kicked out. Where, yeah, because Jeremy sees them. That's basically... They're already together at that point. Oh, interesting. Okay. Because... Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Because, like... Yeah, I wasn't confused at all. Um... This is, yeah, because this is, I label this as a, a, my best friend's brother. That's, that would be a trope in this, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be a trope. My friend's uh, brother. I mean, her and Annie aren't like super close, but like, I would say it close enough. Yeah. Um, well, they're roommates. This is not a new adult. <laughs> I'll cross it off. <laughs> college romance. Although like, it, it's you funny because they don't hear talk about any anything. college. You, they Basically, you, you know they're at college because they're at this like private university two private universities this is not one university yeah this there's like three on the island but two no it's, i think it's just two on and that was three because one of them goes the serpents go to one no 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 the serpents i think go to this but they're just like cast offs from oh oh okay i understand it as three okay either way so one they're them, different universities one's basically an american school and one's basically a british school or like not not they are it's that like like they're marketed to they're like marketed and a, like the like, British school is like, like funded money. by old money, British money, where the American school is considered like the new money school, which is why it's got a lot of Americans it's that are just Americans. rich. Yeah. Which makes sense. Um, this is also a mafia. Well, yeah, mafia it is. Ass. I did put mafia romance because technically it starts talking about how Jeremy is. He's the he's, heir to. The, I wouldn't say he's an. Like he is going, the heir. He's not an. He's an heir to his father's position, but he's not taking over. Like he's not the head of the mafia. Oh, I thought he was. No, it's like he's like I wouldn't say an underboss, but he's definitely one of the leaders of the New York Brockta. Brock. Yeah, it's the uh, Bratva, which is yeah. the Russian mafia. Yeah. In in particular, New York. If you didn't get that from his name being Jerry Jeremy Volkov. Very Russian. <laughs> Very Russian um this is a k okay. so this is a dark romance it's a dark romance i would say this is dark um it's stalker romance it oh yeah jeremy i didn't have loves, that written down that is a stalker jeremy romance loves his stalker stalker i would tendencies. say this is a stalker romance um i don't know okay we'll have to you haven't read any of the um dark romances that i've read besides satan's affair but this is actually not that dark yeah, I would say Rena like, Kent's very, very entry level dark romance. Okay, because I could swear that we talked about Rena Kent before. We talked about how it's usually everyone's like baseline of what a dark romance is. Okay, because she's very like, popular. Like, okay, because in particular, because read... all her books are Kindle Unlimited. Oh, okay, because H. D. Carlton is the other one of the other dark romances I've I've read, and I would say that's fucking dark romance. <laughs> that's yeah. fucked. But like, this is a step above Sophie Lark. And the Sinners duet, like I would say this is a step above, but this is definitely yeah. more more dark romance than the Sinners duet that we did. Um, but I still would say this is on the tamer side of dark romance. Yeah, this is this I would say entry level yeah. is a good description. Um Trigger warnings, there's kind of a lot in this. Stalker, um attempted rape att- and talk about like basically an actual rape because she's like not quite raped, but like she's drugged. Yeah, and she's like still almost still raped. Assault. Yeah, and then she's almost raped and then again. She, it talks about her mental health struggles as well yeah. as it talks about his mom. His mom's. She's like a lot of like basically like PTSD 
from the incident where mm-hmm. she was like almost raped like drugged and she almost has raped. disassociation yeah plus like i would say the primal kink is basically like primal kink is for people who have rape fantasies which is also super normal um that is actually a very normal thing for people I mean, for like, women to I have they go hand in hand but they are definitely well ra- like i mean a primal kink comes from someone who has a rape fantasy that's that that's what it is like that's what it's coming from so i mean like i think that if that's something that is triggering for you like the idea of like rape in general this is probably a hard book to read and i would mm-hmm. skip it also lots of blood yeah there's a decent amount of blood and it's like really rough like it's also like very rough where he yeah like uses a knife he like chokes her a lot and like chokes the, her to like okay, pass we out get back, once. we can circle back to this but the russian roulette that was fucked scene, up that was a little that was when i was like this is a lot that was a, that's a little bit sh- a little too much for me and a little not not sexy in any way shape or form yeah i mean like i was into the primal kink stuff but that was yeah. a lot but the russian roulette part was was a lot. a lot although you realize that he took the bullet out the whole well, time i mean like being, but like, like i you don't know that I, until it after i think like when obviously when he like suggested it, i was like obviously there's no fucking bullets in it he who is so possessive of her is going to like risk her life for a fucking game i was anticipating that there was a bullet in it and then she was going to like flinch or like push it away and he's gonna pull the trigger and then the bullet was gonna go like past him no. and she was gonna be like you motherfucker or you had a bullet like, in this whole time or like he knew exactly where the bullet was and he would yes. shoot it off in the distance when it yeah bullet. but and she would have been like oh my god it was loaded I, I, or kinda, something. I like i never i, I didn't expect him to actually like, i didn't expect either of them to get shot but I, I did expect there to be a bullet in there for that to play it. a part um i would i would definitely check the trigger warnings on this uh because there are some pretty distinct trigger trigger warnings which comes hand in hand with a lot of dark romances anyway yeah. so i mean if you're reading a dark romance in general okay. i would check the trigger warnings yeah. um this had a really high good rate ratings which i everyone was waiting for jeremy man it, why is he in the other books yeah he's introduced from the very beginning i mean maybe and I also just jeremy's I in the parents trilogy well in two of the books right because that's kind of mentioned that it is he's mentioned really that young he's, yeah he's um like... so i mean yeah this is a 4.24 and has ten thousand ratings which makes sense i feel like dark romances don't typically like they're such a niche mm-hmm. that you well, won't see like fifty thousand ratings on something like this like all over book talk and bookstagram this book like i think the series in general I think it's because it's a compilation of the other, her, all of her series kind of yeah. coming together in one. I haven't read any of her other series. Bully romances are like not my thing. I probably wouldn't read. Well, I don't like, I know you probably would not like her. Like enemies to lovers. I love the but bully romance specifically the is the first series. The one where they're, they're in school. They're in high school. What is the whole series called? I don't remember. Um, but I'm yeah, I up. did. Oh my god, Goodreads. It. Yeah. I can look it up. It's bullshit. Okay, how about I'll read? I'm gonna read the back of the book while you look it oh up. Oh my god, it's giving me there's a uh, unexpected error occur, and maybe because Goodreads servers are over capacity, so everyone needs to get off Goodreads right now, so I can look this up. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to read the back of the book. Okay. Um. I am trapped by the devil. What started as an innocent mistake turned into actual hell. In my defense, I didn't mean to get involved with a mafia prince, but he barged through my defenses anyway. He stalked me from the shadows and stole me from from the life I know. Jeremy Volkov might appear charming, but a true predator lurks inside. He is out to possess, own, and keep me, but I have no plans to stick around in his blood-soaked world. Or so I think. It's pretty short. Yeah, but I this mean, book is is it how many pages it's is like this almost 500 pages it's huge yeah this the four 490 the, is what it's no, no, listed no, no, no. it's Although, the royal elites that's what it's called that's and that's the one that has um that's the one landon with, and bram's their parents in it and then and yeah. glenn's glenn's and then, their sister so that's in it and then eli's 
parents and oh it's eli and, and, and then Glenn. remy and and what's the other um the other girl that's f- the the one that keeps the one that's with ava. eli ava ava she's a little annoying but she's i want to see ava and i'm actually like people Eli's are like romance. i don't that was the only one that's what i was really interested people in people are like oh i don't want to see that because uh ava's a little annoying i do want to read their book i do but i will say ava's a shit friend she's a terrible friend she was a shit friend in this book i've only read this book so i can't say anything else but she's a shit friend in this book she's a shit friend in most of the books. or like she's just like not quite she's a very selfish friend she she seems very like like she, I don't think it's like intentional necessarily. Yeah, I don't. But think she's not in tune to her friends. Yeah, she like doesn't, she doesn't seem to pick up on the cues when they're uncomfortable or like don't want to talk about something. She seems very like she's very focused on herself, mm-hmm. which is like fine. She's nineteen. That's also true. Perfectly fine. Um, you could in this book tell. So it's it's about um, Cicely Knight and Kim and Xander's kid. And then Jeremy Volkoff. Which is Adrian and Leah. Leah's kid. And um, she's in her second year of university and he's in his first year of his master's. So he's like 24 and she's 20. Like 20-ish. 20 19, yes. 20. So they're like four or five years apart. And I mean, you could, you she read like a 19, 20 year old. Yeah. And like it took me a while to get into it That's because of never, how she read like, these books that I read that are college and high school. That's why you just don't read them, and that's why I stop recommending them. Because I just I have a hard time getting into it. Yeah, like the it Royal. I would not recommend it's... the Royal Elite series because they're on high school and they read and think like high school students. <laughs> yeah, like it's it it's a little like it was hard to get into it. Although, like, I do think, so this book started off at the, at the right place. Like, like sometimes books start too early and you're like, I don't need to know any of this stuff. This started off yeah, at the right moment like, where you were like, this is completely relevant the, and it just, like, gets right into it. The funny thing is, is you, it, when you read the other two books, so the first book you knew Jeremy and Cece were going to, were going to be a pair. And you, like. Unless you, you have read them like me. <laughs> if you haven't read them like me. Or, like, uh, but, like, you. In that book, you think they're kind of like circling each other, and right. in the second book, there's a comment that Creighton. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it's, his name. I think it's Craigington, and Craigington they call him Craig for short. So it's a very um, English name, but he's not technically English. He was born in the states. Whatever. Anyway, so he makes a comment that was like, "Oh, I know Cece's been sneaking out. Like, who you've been seeing when you sneak out?" And she, and this is like a point that you're just like. Oh, so their relationship has started. Okay, kind of like how you skip two weeks and they're like, oh, yeah, after two weeks, uh, Craig and uh, Annie came yeah. back. And then you're like, oh. And then they're just kind of together. And you yeah, know that like, their... Their th- the, the second book must fill in that gap. Yeah. But because I obviously was just like, oh, two weeks have passed. Okay. But basically, like, you don't know how far in their relationship they are until, like, and how long they've been kind of like together until this book. Because I was shocked that they started like right off the bat. Because like they basically start at the same time that uh, Killian and Glenn. Glenn do. And I didn't realize that until this book started. Because I I don't actually know how much time passed. I don't rem- I, like I don't know. Well, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Like so how much time actually has passed from oh i guess it's almost the entire semester like the entire it's year the entire year because i think glenn and no it must be and killian get together like i would say like within the first semester and does that happen so wait does the initiation happen at the beginning of every semester so it's like in not september the, october not, not the semester but the year the school year so like it, it happens so january no school year yeah, so September or October. Because yeah. in Europe, they're, they don't start till the end of September in the university. But, yeah. Okay, so so this is so this happens at the beginning of the school year. Yeah. And then, because the summer passes at the end of this book. Yes. Okay, so it's like almost an entire year that they're like circling in so together. So I would say the second book, which is Craig and Annie's, they don't get together until second semester, I would say. 
Okay. Which makes sense because they get together right before the end of the school year. Yeah. And then Killian and Glenn get together first semester. Okay. And then Jeremy and Cece have been like going the entire time basically. Okay. Interesting. I, I did get quite a bit of time passed, but I didn't quite get that much time had passed. Because Cause they it does skip this, around a lot. Yeah. They get you. Time. So by the time like Annie and Craig are together. I'm pretty sure it's Craig. Because they have a break where it's like the beginning of the summer basically is when they like disappear for the two weeks. I I think think it's more than that. No, I think it's, they have disappeared for more than two weeks. No, because, oh, maybe. It is more than two weeks. It is more, no, it's it's definitely more than two weeks, but I'm trying to think because like, yeah, it's basically how that book arc you just i'm looking it up sorry to fucking google how to pronounce the name i'm not gonna it's do that right like now like the way you say names in your head very different yeah i agree um <laughs> but because i think it's around the summer that they or the end of the semester i mean it's the end of the semester because they come back and have he, like finals he, or something because cc goes to new york yes to like kidnap annie tech indirectly it, indirectly because she didn't know the entire plan she was just like i i want to help and then he leaves her there and she's like cool fuck you man i figured i'm not playing myself to go home yeah. <laughs> also the flight from new york to london would be like eight hours it's like not a short it's flight. Not a short flight it's like a fucking long flight but anyway so let's i mean let's actually get into the into the book and not get into the, the entire series yeah so this is, um, this is dual POV. Dual POV. And I think you spend more time with Cece. You than spend a lot more time with Cece. And at the beginning of the book, I was fucking so confused because I was like, who are we going to get? Because remember I asked you, I was like, is this a dual POV? Or because I was I was getting so much Cece and I was like, do I get to hear from Jeremy? I because think it's always like. If you don't, the one thing about doing a single POV is, okay, if I, if I hadn't. If this wasn't dual POV and I didn't get Jeremy and Cece, I wouldn't have liked this book because I didn't quite like Cece. Like, I didn't like Cicely. And the only reason I grew, she grew on me is because I got to see both. Do you know what I mean? But if I had just been in her POV, I don't think I would have rated this as high. Because it was super hard to connect with her specifically. Whether it's because she's like, like she's written as like a 19 20 year old and it's when he's 28 that's like obviously very like far away from where i am but like i don't know if that like maybe that was a reason but if i if this hadn't been dual pov i would because it took me until like i didn't get into this book until um like basically when he shows up at her house and like sneaks into her room after she gets drunk like that that's how long it took me to kind of like buy into this book and like really get into the groove of reading it yeah because i like i did like cc i did end up liking her a lot i did in the end but like in glenn's book i was not a fan of cc she i mean a part of it is you also like because she's obviously got like a lot of trauma, like that probably plays a huge part in how she's portrayed in other people's minds. Mm-hmm. So like it's probably different. Like if we when we read other books, um, like I'm assuming that Ava will get a book. Like I bet you Cece will be different, but it, I well, would assume yeah. that it's probably hard. Like because you don't you don't know the trauma stuff, so like you kind of get it after a while. But yeah. like I did like Jeremy and Cecily I together. Really like Jeremy from this book. The only thing I didn't like was when he was like, yeah, I'm cutting you off because you abandoned my sister. I was like, I mean, like, yes, I think you're allowed to be upset. But, like, that seems fucking extreme because, like. I mean, that being said. She his... grew up with these people. Like, their family, basically. Like, what, like you, that like, not that you have to said, pick sides, but. His sister did shoot Craig, like, fully, like, but, like through the chest almost killing him so i understand why she was like Wait, that's not fucking mentioned in this book no that is that is in her, in their book annie and craig's book but he they she does fully shoot is that i'm assuming that 
happens in the time that this is happening yeah okay that's not fucking mentioned so okay. it's not mentioned at all i was i, was, I thought like, they were gonna mention the hospital scene because um craig goes to the hospital and um obviously they Annie want to go shows up there. and sees cc and ava in particular and ava gets like really angry that she showed up to the, at the hospital and i thought that was going to be mentioned in cc's point of view but it like it skims over the fact that okay because yeah that, that's not shot. mentioned at all he fully but she even, fully shot him even without that being mentioned i was like i would take sicily's side like i would if like this is somebody that i grew up with who was like someone that like it feels like family to me yeah you're just some like, fucking guy that i'm screwing like sorry but like yeah and also she like at this point he never really like committed of being like this is a relationship, relationship yeah which this was always a, like a point of contention because she's like are we a relationship like what the like because she didn't know like past this year or past like because he's technically supposed to be finishing up his master's yeah so she's like oh i don't even know if he's gonna even be here next year like she doesn't know it's going to go past this year, right? She thought it was well, just Well, she was like, just like, I'm basically going to be here till he gets bored, and then we'll yeah. be done. Which, like, is the sense that you do get in general. Mm-hmm. But then when you're in his POV, you know that he's, he's like, not going to get bored. And yeah. he's fucking obsessed. This That's been another trope. Boy obsessed. Boy obsessed. I, I also did really enjoy her coming to understanding and falling out of her crush with landon okay because at the very beginning because i knew landon was like i'll let every- you finish this because i have want to circle back to like landon specifically everyone but, like, fucking is obsessed with landon i fucking hate the little i haven't read the other book so i don't know I but i fucking hate the little fucker anyway i'm not looking forward to his book his book is next yeah i know i, I um, did read that but she has this huge crush on him and she basically goes to this initiation because he asks her and she's like, oh, if I go, he's going to start seeing me in a different light instead of my childhood friend. He's going to see yeah. me as something uh, like other than other like something more. But romantic. the thing is, I knew from the very beginning when she started saying that I was like, Landon, 100 percent knows you have a crush on him and he's 100 percent going to use that against you. And. Which is a, a view on Landon because I fucking hate that so, guy. This is, I did have this written down in my notes being like specifically about Landon. So Landon, everyone hates Landon. I don't know. Obviously I haven't read the other two books. So I don't know how he's perceived in the other books. Are we supposed to like him? Like no. as the reader. We're not supposed to, I like. The because thing is, is he supposed to be do, the villain? He's supposed to be technically the villain. He's the, he's technically the villain in this book. Yeah. Which, which I did. But then, he, but then he was, but then he wasn't but, because then. I thought there was going to be a scene where he was going to try to put him, push himself onto CC, be like, well, I thought you liked me, but the fucking actual rapist comes back full circle. Yeah. And that I wasn't. I thought, I definitely thought the relationship with Landon was going to. Something was going to happen. Play there. a bit more, but I, I think she didn't want to do that simply because she knew Landon's book was, was getting be a book. Cause I wasn't sure as the because reader, I was like, am I supposed to like him? Like, am I supposed to understand him I as, mean, cause CC never, she doesn't she falls out of her crush infatuation very quickly with Landon. But she she still views him as a friend. Like he's not because cut he's out. Like their, he's like their childhood friend. Also, Brandon and Landon, which is the stupidest naming of twins. Honestly, fucking same. Um <laughs> like <laughs> but she's really close to Brandon, which is Landon's twin. Yeah. And which is Glenn's brothers. But if you read in Glenn's book, is it Glenn's brothers or is yeah? Oh no, yeah, because Ava's they're older. Ava older is with brother. so Eli's. I didn't understand why sister. they picked Landon. I guess he's like a couple minutes older than Brandon, but it's this idea that like Landon's supposed to take over the help take over the family business with Eli because oh. Eli is it's like because they're the oldest, um, and they it's like the king empire and they're like they're um they they're like, bro- oh because they're cousins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, um, in Glenn's book, her like Glenn and Brandon fucking hate Landon. Like they're literally like, we're like we put on a face for our parents to be like we're siblings. We're all oh, tight. Interesting. But they're like he's a psychopath. I know. Okay. So like I did get that. Like I did get that there was some sort of like like basically the only person that I think is like, relatively close psycho- to Landon is Eli, and that's just because. They're both psychos, potentially. They're both psychos. They are. They both run the 
what what are they called? What's that? What's the, the? They don't even mention it in this book, so I wouldn't know. There's no. They're mention like little of the, gang, the little like the, oh that school's gang of the British the British kids. I don't know the heathen. No, the heathens no, is the, the heathens. Jeremy. Um, I don't remember, but I know it's the elites. The elites. Elites. Okay. So because I um. I wasn't sure like how I was supposed to feel about him as the reader. I was like, because Cece never makes a big deal out of it. Besides saying Landon, like we're not friends, like like, don't do that. Like, I don't want you to do that. I don't like you. She never really like punishes him for being such an asshole. So I wasn't sure if we were supposed to cut him slack because that's what it felt like. It felt like Cece was cutting him slack. But like, I think I was like cut everybody slack but i think that's part of who she is who she is because i was because like she cut ava so much slack when jeremy was like no, yeah she's a fucking terrible friend yeah because i was like i'm confused as to and th- i think that if i'm supposed to like landon if i'm supposed to feel I mean, bad because then he starts showing up with mia and i was like you could clearly see that she was setting that up for the next book. well in the first book you knew who was gonna be with mia Okay, well, obviously, I, I haven't read the first book, so I'm stick with just this you book. Should read the first so book. I'm saying that, like, you could see that she was setting that up. Yeah. But I think she was. I was like, like I didn't think she wanted to make Landon irredeemable okay. in the eye of the people who The were readers following. for the yeah. series, I see. But also, everyone, I don't know what is with, in particular, Bookstagram. I don't know why everyone's obsessed with Landon. I fucking hate that little fucker. I hated him. Hate him. I mean, he hasn't a book yet, so maybe they've read I, the book. I'm sure. I'll, maybe they some would enjoy him in his book or in Mia's book because fuck Landon but um and I'll like have different views but like right now I hate that guy yeah because I wasn't quite sure like as a reader if I was supposed to like also forgive him because Cece kind of did she kind of just like let I think, it go I think and you, I was like am I supposed to hate him yeah, because I, she never I really does you're just not supposed to like you're just not supposed to absolutely loathe him because yeah because Enough Jeremy you're not gonna read his book Jeremy it makes sense he hates him so you 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 take Jeremy's reaction with a grim salt because he's obsessed. I also think I also think on Cece's side it was because like obviously like the, they see each other as family like this th- this friend group is more than a friend group because right. they, they've grown up together they they are like basically they see each other as like cousins ask right so for her it was like if i have if i basically tell landon i fucking hate his guts and i hold a grudge it's going to cause a big riff in the friend group hmm. and i i don't think they she i like cc's all about not making waves she doesn't want to make any waves right so she's i think she just kind of like lets it go because not only one, she's with Jeremy now and she like loves Jeremy, but also because it would just cause a rift within the friend group. Hmm. Okay. Cause yeah, that was a note that I had where I was like, what the f- am I supposed to like not hate him? Because at first you kind of do, but then it doesn't go anywhere. And I was like, so am I not supposed to hate him? Yeah. But I do that- kind of wish it kind of like came like to a she- head. Cause I, I kind of wish she confronted him a little bit more because the conflict or maybe like they cut that out. Like maybe, maybe it was edited out. Maybe because this book could have been like eight hundred pages. Because I did feel I did feel like there was supposed to be something, and then it never happened. And I was like, maybe they oh. did. Maybe she did cut it out. But I mean, like, I like that she like her development of like understanding her like not only Landon but also how she was feeling towards him and how she was. Like, like it was infatuation versus yeah. like love yeah okay but the whole reason she ends up with jeremy one jeremy's like kind of like somewhat obsessed with her a little bit when he kind of when he first kind of meets her and then he like, thinks oh i can get t- to landon through cc yeah so when so she joins this this like sex club app yeah to see if she could match, match with him. landon and jeremy sees that because he like he's like very good with computers they never really explain that yeah they but, never really explain um that. she see he sees that she joins this app and he's like because he he hacks her app and like yeah. matches them basically yeah and, and like 
because he the only reason he starts being obsessed with her is because she comes to initiation and he finds her and then he's like i'm gonna find every little thing about this girl but yeah he basically and then she signs up for primal play because was it eli that tells her Someone tells her that he's that Landon's into primal play. Yes, so, someone does, but she's also into it anyway. Well, I don't think she has a full understanding of it, though. I, I think, think she does because I she knows she, that she's she into does. rape fantasies, which is she, what primal play yeah plays but into. But I don't think she like fully has a full grasp of it because obviously she hasn't sexually really explored much. Because well, yeah, she's, because she yeah has trauma. Um, but Jeremy had like no desire for primal play until he he like signed up for the app and like did the meeting with cc which is funny which he, i, I thought he didn't really, know yeah he didn't know because oh. he, he signed up basically he just checked off all the boxes that she did so they would get close to a match and then he just fucking accepted yeah it. so i mean and he like he had no like no desire for primal play at all i don't remember that part i do i did like that i mean there is a lot of sex in this book there's a lot of sex they basically she meets up with him like every night and they just have sex and they just have sex because this book this... like really though like nothing happens he has this weird haunted cabin on this island because this is like an island like they have to fly into this island yeah where the schools are because i just I just didn't, like, when I'm thinking about it now, like, there's really no, like, nothing happens. Nothing the happens. The only thing I... that happens is her almost getting raped by the guy who raped her originally. Mm -hmm. And that's, and like, it. And then Jeremy also starting to, like, because he's starting to build his little crew. So he has, what's what's that, what's the, the guy? Uh, Elias? Elias? I don't I don't remember his name, but yeah, his his basically head of security. Yeah, he he finds his like right hand man and then Nico's a little too unstable for him to trust him for anyone. But it's like um but Jeremy's starting to like build like get ready to take over or well, not a takeover because his dad's obviously not gonna retire, but like Yeah, he's getting ready to like to, move into a role. To move into a role of his family within, business. Yeah. The mafia. I did find that Sicily was very like, oh, I can't be in the mafia. I can't be in the mafia. Okay, I'll be in the mafia. And I was like, oh, yeah. What? She just like, kind of just uh, instantly think, accepted. Because at the end, I think she had like this idea of what it was like, and then she saw how his parents were because his mom wasn't like wasn't born into it. Maybe because yeah, I was like, she just was kind of like okay <laughs> my like, thing okay. is like i understand why his parents didn't make a big deal about finding someone who wasn't yes part. makes sense because, because obviously adrian yeah wasn't but i thought more people within like the the mafia was going to make a big deal because they always it's i mean like, he's on a fucking island so it's not like he's like yeah in the day-to-day -day of the mafia and then uh, I, what I did like though was the scene when the mom just like comes into his house and he's like, yeah. where they're like in the middle of having sex and he's like, awesome. He's like, mom, excuse me. And she's like, I don't know why you're covering up. I've seen it. Like I literally given birth to you. <laughs> and that was funny. That was a good scene. But, um, yeah, it was like, yeah, I, I did. I mean like overall, yeah, like nothing really happens besides, yeah, that scene. I did kind of, I like was that, honestly, though. when she gets almost raped at the end, yeah i honestly wasn't but I sure i do know when she introduced the zane dude i was like oh this this fucker is gonna be some part of it i didn't really get that until he showed up when he um when he showed up when I... landon jeremy and her and the mia shows up we're having that thing and then he came in i was like okay he's gonna circle back somewhere because he was also yeah. in the class that she was mm -hmm. in in the class next to her i do but like I did not how she like, i did not picture that happening when he handed her the the water bottle and she was like Oh, the cat, the seal's broken. I'm not drinking this. Yeah. I really like, I was like, this girl's fucking, like, she learns and she fucking, like, observes and she's like, she, yeah, she knew something so the, was off the chapter right away. before this, you realize that, so Jeremy's drunk and at home and I, 
wasn't quite sure whether like they never explained how he found her i'm assuming his like no because he had a tracker on his phone oh is that what he says yeah and then because it shut because it turned off because of the battery died he yeah. was like but oh, he shit, knew her like go. last location and i think his second hand his right hand man yeah was kind of like following her because her um because when that happened and she like because you don't like i honestly thought that she was gonna get raped and then the end of the book was gonna be her like getting over getting raped and then like coming like them having to work out this new normal and I, 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 I honestly wasn't sure if he was gonna end up saving her obviously he ends up saving her she doesn't get raped besides like the fucking trauma of almost getting raped again, again. um but maybe i've just read like darker romances where like that would happen in real life yeah. where there's no no really any white rape. knight <laughs> but there's in this no... case he saves her and it's fine yeah. i do I was wish i do that. wish it wasn't a quick death for that guy i really did wish to get more violent jeremy yeah because I... the thing is is like a, there's a lot of like talk of like oh jeremy's very violent jeremy is like 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 not afraid to kill people and then it was only like the the throat cutting scene and then when he beats it, the guys up for following her but like because yeah because i the only thing that i do wish about this book is i wish you got more jeremy like i wish it was a 50 50 with jeremy and but that's Sicily. i think that's like most of her books you only get like 30 it's like it's like a third a third yeah, is it's him like and 30 70 split because i do i do wish you got more i did enjoy jeremy's chapters but because i just feel like i think yeah. but i do think that they she sprinkled in the jeremy chapters just enough because you get to a point when you're in cc's point of view and you're just like okay girl girl like get your fucking head on and then she yeah. like once you get to the point then she jumps to jeremy and then you kind of get like a refresher of like okay jeremy chapter and then you go back into cc and i think that was a good like pacing because i think if like obviously i think if yeah it was like just i said cc if this was, it just was a CC, 500 page book i, I don't think i would have fucking thrown it out the window i yeah i agreed so i'd like that would be the only thing is i do wish we got a little bit more because yeah i think that that was yeah if, if it was one pov and it was just cc mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if i would have this definitely would have been a four and i don't know if i would have been able to finish it yeah otherwise like yeah i did i did give this a like a four out of five rating although condom watch they just fucking like literally it's never fucking discussed it's never discussed literally the only time she's but it's ever I... discussed is when she signs up for that app and says she's on birth control but that is it's like dark romance dark, do they ever talk about condoms in dark romance no i don't, I don't know do. but like i you just he's just gonna fucking stick his dick in it and hope that like it's fine she never was like hmm this like mafia prince might have something that he's giving me and didn't ever she she never questioned it like i get him being like fuck it she's probably a virgin which she was she did tell him literally but i would if i was her i'd be I'm not fucking concerned about getting pregnant necessarily but fucking getting something from whatever the fuck he's been putting his dick in like also they're like know. rolling around in the fucking mud like that wasn't that as concerning to me. Like it was specifically the fact that he was like That sounds like an S that sounds like a UTI waiting to happen. Also true. Although it's not sexy for them to like pee after sex, so that's never really in books. Which is like something or, you're like, supposed to do too. But I don't pee know. Pee or like at least clean up and wipe. I think he does like clean her. Cause the only part I thought that house was absolutely disgusting. What I didn't I, I like. I really wish he like cleaned that up a little bit for her. The only other scene that I was like kind of like, okay, was when he chokes her to the point where she passes the fuck out and she wakes up and looks for him. But I was like, girl, what the fuck, man? Do you have any sense of survival? No. Like what? Like, she doesn't have any sense of survival. She walks around with headphones on, I full know. blast music at night. I just like, cause yeah, she looks around for him and she's like, oh, he left. And I was like, uh, he choked you to the point where you passed hey, the fuck out. She, she's into that kink, man. Yeah. But like that, I don't, that's a lot. Anyway. I mean, overall, I, okay. I still give this book a four. It's not quite a 3.5. 
Like it's a four. It's a four. No, it's a four. I give this a four. That's my rating. I give. This a, I would say probably. After talking about it, maybe it's a four point five. But Not a five. I. Ch- it was like a five when I first read it because I it gave me the largest book hangover. Oh really? And I couldn't stop thinking about this book. That's why I gave it five. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I. I do think maybe I'll reread it because it does have, like, this is a very specific set of tropes in it, like Brother's Best Friend, Dark Romance, mm-hmm. Mafia. So, like, if you're looking, like, sometimes you're in a mood for a specific trope. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I think I'd go back to it if I was looking specifically for, like, oh, I want to read, like, this kind of a kink. Or I want to read, like, a Mafia. Or I want to read, like, whatever, Best Friend's Brother. Like, I would go back to it for yeah. that. But otherwise, like, I don't know if I, this isn't like something I'd go back to because I liked it. Uh, I think I'd go back to this one over, I mean, I haven't reread God of Anger. Is that the, or is that the first one? What the fuck is, what the fuck is Glenn's book? But I think I'd go back to the first one and me and, and this one, obviously. But, um. I will note, I really enjoyed Xander's uh, chapter. I thought it was fucking hilarious. The dad. Yeah. Dad. I found because that kind of unnecessary, just, but that's because I haven't read I mean, the other series. So I can see that if you were, like, it, th- that's a chapter for the fans. Like, yeah. that and Adrian's the, the, chapter is, is the a chapter for the fans. Things. Yeah. Which, like, as someone who hasn't read any Rena Kent, like, I could have gone and without. I really did enjoy his chapter. Because I didn't, I didn't really enjoy... Is it Black Knight his book was called? But yeah, I, I something nice. I didn't necessarily enjoy that book the most out of that series. But I fucking love because I, I fucking love the Xander chapter. I thought it was so funny. I as someone who like haven't hasn't read, like I wouldn't be able to give you. Like I, I didn't was so it funny. wasn't relevant to me personally. I also just like thought it was so funny that like Jeremy just started like because she would she would she was never like really secretive with him. Of being like, oh, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is what's going on in my life. Like, she would tell him when he asked. And she was like, oh, I'm going home to visit my parents. And he just, like, shows up. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm her boyfriend. And Yeah, I thought that was really funny. That was a good. That was good. That that whole scene. Like, that section of the book was good. I did like when that. When they were, like, I think when she, like, fully, like, started to, like, come to terms of, like, oh, I really, like, really like this guy. And I, like, they discuss being together together even though they weren't going to tell their friends necessarily yeah i mean they did well, they did after and that started, right after that he started yeah and out he with started them. to come out with them and that's when he told ava that she was not a great friend and he didn't want her around cc yeah which like Maybe I she mean, wasn't a great friend. Ava was not a great friend would i recommend this um i think i don't think i would recommend this book necessarily as the first Rena Kent book I would recommend because I do like if you want to get into dark romance I do recommend, recommend Rena Kent yeah like starting Agreed. out with Rena Kent because it is it's great entry level Agreed. Um, but I don't think I would recommend this one first I think I'd recommend probably like one of the first like the first book in the series yeah I I don't know. I would. I would recommend. I got. I would read recomm- another Rena Kent. Or I don't maybe know. recommend something a little bit shorter if you want to like entry level. But if you're like into dark romance, you've read Rena Kent. I would probably recommend this as like. Oh, I really enjoyed this book in this series. Yeah. I would recommend that. Like, yeah. I don't know if I would not recommend it, but I think it had to be a specific type of like, yeah a person with a specific I mean, that's, type. I think of, that's like, like in dark romance in general. I, that's I'm not true. gonna recommend dark romance to everybody. Everybody. You, you have, have to kind of know who yeah. you're recommending it to. That's true um steaminess i did give this a five though it's a five i gave this a five out of five they fuck like every every time. every chapter every other chapter they're fucking yeah which like to be honest kind of broke up the other stuff which i enjoy i, I think there I was enjoyed, if it, i think, I think I if enjoyed, there was less sex i don't think i would have held on as much because you would have I, had too much cc i think <laughs> i enjoyed about this book a little bit more than the others is there's like absolutely no side plot in this book it is oh is there lots of side plot in the other two well the other the two kind of like in particular Cree craig um his like his trauma and his like it does sound like he's got a lot like even just mentioned this book it sounds a, like he's a got lot a lot of trauma. trauma um and then with 
Killian is his like relationship with his brother and his relationship with in particular his father. That's a side plot where like this one is like Jeremy has a Jeremy and Cece have great relationships with their family. Yes. Yeah. Which and, is like but, there's but the, no bad dad I mean, or like, like Jeremy kind of coming to understanding of like understanding his mom's mental health a little bit more. Yeah. Because Cece kind of has the same like I wouldn't say same ass problems because like obviously if you read the deception series it's very different but I think he comes to understanding what his mom went through by helping Cece go through like come to yeah come yeah. to terms with <clears throat> more her stuff yeah I agree I mean yeah I, d- I did like this book like I think you were worried that I wouldn't like this book and I did not I like worried, it I was worried you're gonna like have no understanding what the fuck is happening oh because of the series because the series and also like the parents chapters can i thought of i that? mean the parents chapters like they didn't take away from the plot though like they 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 jumped into the same plot and the only thing is like who it was wasn't relevant to mm-hmm. me and i think that that's why they were done is for the fans and like the the person itself wasn't relevant but like they still added to the story yeah so like it wasn't like they were like completely unnecessary but they also weren't like i didn't i didn't need those chapters like i didn't find them any extra yeah. the way that you did i think the only book in the series that i would say is definitely not a standalone is the second one. Oh, because you have to kind of because you have to i think you definitely have to have read the deception series oh to understand what's going on with craig in particular interesting um it does say that the, all these are standalones. They're all though. technically standalones, but I think, the, in particular, the second book, you would have a better understanding what happened if you read the Deception series. I see. Well, maybe I'll go back. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, overall, like, I would read this. Again? You'd read this again? Maybe not again, but I would, I would recommend others to read this, maybe is the right wording. Um, yeah, I'd recommend others to read this. Um, I don't have anything else like notes wise on this book besides that. Like what I said. Is there anything, any last words? No, I, I think. Well, also on the cover. I did like this cover. I was looking at the other two the covers. covers. I didn't like. Horrendous. I liked the first cover and the second cover and the third cover. Although I feel like they're almost the same model. I think they, no. Different hair. Well, maybe. Yeah, you could fucking change someone's hair and have the same model. I didn't like the second cover. But yeah, this cover, this is a nice cover. Um, Crackton's Corner. We pronounce Creighton's name incorrectly. (laughs) Craigton. It's Creighton. It's Creighton. And Lexi was, I think, was... I don't think she was like 100% correct, but she was like definitely 90% correct. And we Googled it, and that's how it's pronounced in the British Toy way. So Yusha was incorrect. So, sorry for everyone who listened to this episode and was like, fuck, they're pronouncing it wrong. We don't know how to, we, we don't know how to read. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I'm 19 and I never learned how to read. I don't know what that's from. That's a Vine. Oh my God. Do people even, Vine doesn't even exist anymore. It doesn't exist, but I still quote Vines. It's like, hey, my name is Jared. I'm 19 and I never learned how to read. Anyway. Oh my God. Corrections Corner. This is what I live with, you guys. It's great. It's great. The end. Moving on. (laughs) As usual, though, please rate, review, and subscribe. Bye. (laughs) Ha <laughs> ha